following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Championship. Please welcome at this time, Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, aquí en esta noche en Nueva York, les presento al hombre que ganará su título otra vez, a los Blue de México, el patrón, él es Alberto Alberto Del Rio does some serious damage to CM Punk here tonight, so CM Punk can understand what it's like to be in pain. Oh, will you quit being a crybaby, Cole? WWE Hall of Famer, Howard Finkel. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, CM Punk. Nearly 17,000 strong here in the Big Apple, on their feet for the number one contender, CM Punk. And any way you look at it, Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk is going to be a hell of a matchup here tonight at Survivor Series. Championship. The title has changed hands here in New York on 15 occasions. More than any other place in the entire world will it happen tonight. And CM Punk is finally getting his rematch after Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Alberto Del Rio has had a magical year. He began the year off by winning the largest Royal Rumble in history. He also won the Money in the Bank ladder match and then cashed it in at SummerSlam to win the WWE title. Oh, wait a minute. You know you have to keep an eye on Ricardo Rodriguez because throughout this entire magical year that you speak of, Rodriguez has been there creating shortcuts for Del Rio. And I don't think that's befitting of a champion. You know, CM Punk enters this match a four-time world champion and a two-time Money in the Bank winner. In fact, he's the only man to win it two years in a row. that Alberto Del Rio has had might just be the most impressive I've ever seen. The only stretch in recent memory I can compare it to is perhaps Sheamus' in 2009. In a matter of six months, he went from debuting on ECW to becoming WWE Champion. Well, you're right about that. That was a very impressive stretch, to say the least. Sheamus shot up like a rocket, and Del Rio seems to be doing the same thing. Indeed, King. It will go down as one of the best 12-month stretches in sports entertainment history, as will Alberto Del Rio's unbelievable run he's on now. CM Punk says he's going to make the WWE Championship interesting again. What I don't like about CM Punk is the way that he coerced Alberto Del Rio into putting the championship on the line here tonight. 
Big Show had knocked out Del Rio. Then Punk put on the Anaconda Vice and made Del Rio agree to this match. Well, remember, Punk never received a one-on-one -on -one rematch after Del Rio successfully cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Watch it! Oh, lights out! Tonight marks the third time in WWE history that the Big Apple is on. Punk, Punk with Del Rio up high over the GTS. Oh, but look at Del Rio. He's not going for that cross arm breaker. And whoo, watch that roundhouse. Yeah, but look at Del Rio. Del Rio floats into the arm breaker. Arm breaker. The arm's locked in. Oh, this puts so much pressure on the shoulder. You can almost start to see him fading now. Yeah, with each wrench, this gets closer to being over. You know, I've been watching Alberto Del Rio since he arrived here in the WWE, and he's always working the little things, something his opponent never sees coming. That's what's unique about Alberto Del Rio. What's going to be interesting is that you would have to assume the strategy for both men in this matchup is to work the arms of the other. For Del Rio, it's the cross arm breaker, and of course for Punk, the Anaconda Vice. And you would have to think that both of these guys are under a lot of pressure. It doesn't get any bigger than competing in the Big Apple. King, I'm thinking about filing a criminal and civil lawsuit against CM Punk what? after he injured me this past week on Raw. <laughs> oh, that's great. How does that Anaconda Vice feel anyway? It's excruciating. I'm in severe pain. It's a miracle I'm even out here tonight. I'll let you use my attorney. He's a guy where you're considered innocent until proven broke. Tonight marks CM Punk's first Survivor Series match since 2009, as injury prevented him from competing last year. Yeah, and meanwhile, last year was Alberto Del Rio's Survivor Series debut. Unfortunately for him, though, he didn't fare too well. Quickly getting back to Del Rio's Survivor Series appearance last year. You're right, King. It wasn't pretty for Del Rio as he and his squad were defeated by Team Mysterio in a classic Survivor Series elimination tag team match. And who will get CM Punk nails it? It's so hard to game plan for CM Punk, though. Yes, considering his Muay Thai style, it allows Punk to use his legs, his weapons, as much as his arms. Yeah, but on the flip side, Alberto Del Rio, what a maneuver. Kick out. And look at Paul Quick. He's got him. He had a con device locked in. Locked in on Del Rio. Del Rio, baby. His, look at this. Del Rio's tapping out. We got a new champion. Oh my God. See if Punk has won. What a moment. Oh, oh, oh man. WWE Championship just being handed to CM Punk. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, CM Punk. And now the celebration. You're right about that, Punk sharing it with his fans. What an incredible moment.